Welp, it's been a while since I've actually uploaded content, and especially make a keep it or dump it episode. And that's mostly due to all the stuff that has been going on lately, but that doesn't matter. What matters is reviewing an object show that most of you probably have never heard of before. And if you didn't... Alright, we're back with Object Mania. You're probably asking, what the hell is Object Mania? Well, it's a show made by Ruben Flores, where contestants of any kind are competing for a million dollars. Yeah, so original, am I right? No, Ruben, I yell, I yell! Alright, enough with the jokes, let's get to the show. Well, since I'm very lazy, I'll cover these first three episodes in a few sentences. Episode 1, they just escape a box or something. What fucking shit. Episode 2. The race with very realistic cars or stuff. I don't know. Also, I voiced the vein of my existence. Episode 3. They survived the Slenderman when he was still cool. Also, Sonic blows up the earth. Alright, we've covered the first three episodes, why did I separate them exactly? Because after episode 3 were released, the show was pretty much cancelled. After that, we got this thing instead. Gross. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. Uh, damn it, I don't get paid enough for this shit. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, the review. So, yeah, Battle for the Silver flopped due to personal stuff you can find out in this video right here. So, after that, eventually Object Mania was brought back as a SOP reboot. <music> and eventually Object Mania was brought back as a SOP reboot. This... This is where the show truly started to show its true potential in my opinion. I'm not going to cover the rest of the episodes because we would be here all day. And also my analytics is telling me to upload a video as soon as possible so I'll just go through everything real quick. Well starting with episode 4 you can already see the massive improvement in pretty much every category. Also finally original characters in this show. But hey, the whole community kind of does that, so I'm not gonna even complain about it. Besides this point, my favorite part about this whole show is honestly the writing and the visuals. The writing is done really well in the show and makes me crack a smile every time I see it. And the visuals, even though most of the animation is done on a phone, looks really expressive and I'm genuinely surprised on how much creativity a lot of these visuals on characters can be. And it just outright gets better with every episode. But in the end, what's the score? It's a definite keep it. I'm not even joking, this possibly is one of the best object shows I've seen in a while. And yes, there are way better shows I can think of, like Inanimate Sanity Season 2 and 3, or 1 in that matter. But this is the show that just makes me emotionally feel happy simply because of how simple it is and doesn't have any boundaries of what it can and can't do. And no, I'm not saying this out of being biased against Ruben because he's one of my best friends. Okay, maybe a little bit, but even with the nostalgia glasses off, I still think that this show is good and deserves more attention than it gets. So, <clears throat> darn it, go watch the show now, or I'll spam Freddy Fastbear memes in your DMs. Alright, this has been Daniel with an actual video of 2022, and Daniel signing off.